Now in this video, I'll be going through the changes to the CFA Level 2 program curriculum for 2020, okay, uh, versus 2019. So for 2020, there will be less readings, okay, they've uh, added five new readings and removed eight of them. So effectively, you are left with only uh, 48 readings. So what are the changes here? Okay, for exam weightage, uh, there's no change. Okay, it maintains uh, the same as 2019. Okay, and for 2020, uh, you will still have the same exam format. Okay, there will be 21 item sets. Okay, 18 of them will be uh, based on six multiple choice questions. Okay, and three item sets will be based on four multiple choice questions. Okay, so in total, you will still have 120 multiple choice questions. Now, in terms of topical breakdown, for ethics, okay, they have removed uh, reading four and five from 2019, uh, the one on trade allocation and uh, changing investment objectives, but these are more of uh, application uh, and cases. All right, and then reading three uh, seems to be have, uh, they have rewritten this or, and it's a new, it's a new reading, okay. Now for quants, okay, they have removed uh, reading six, which is FinTech in investment management. Okay, it was only there for one uh, for 2019 as a transition. Okay, since uh, those who did uh, 2019 didn't get to learn FinTech back in level one. Now for reading seven, uh, correlation and regression, they have changed the heading. The, the name of the reading to introduction to linear regression. Now most of the topics, uh, most of the LOS are the same. Now what they did is that they actually removed, okay, uh, the earlier LOS uh, talking about covariance, uh, talking about the hypothesis test uh, on the significance of the correlation. Okay, but pretty much everything else is the same. Now then for reading eight, uh, multiple regression and machine learning, Okay, so last year when they introduced machine learning into the syllabus, they actually uh, fit it okay, at the end of multiple the topic on multiple regression. So what they did in 2020 is they took out the part of machine learning. Okay, so whatever is left okay, is now uh, called reading 5, multiple regression. Now for reading 10, okay, on the excerpts from probabilistic approaches, uh, they've actually moved this over to study session 3. Okay. Uh, but everything remains the same. Now, two new readings for quants. Okay, we have our uh, reading seven, which is on machine learning. Okay, so this has been taken out from multiple regression. Okay, and then it's put into a separate reading by its own. They have expanded it. Okay, it's still on uh, supervised learning, uh, unsupervised learning. Okay, they talk about uh, overfitting. Okay, they talk about neural networks, uh, deep learning nets, and uh, reinforcement learning. And then there is also a reading eight on big data projects. Okay, talking about uh, what are the steps uh, in the data analysis project. Okay, what are the steps in data wrangling, preparing the data, data exploration, model training. How do we evaluate the fit? Now over to economics uh, for reading thirteen. Okay, on economics or regulation. Okay, so they have actually uh, rewritten some uh, portion of the topic. Okay, in 2020, and then they've added in a uh, new LOS as well, okay, for this uh, particular topic. And then for FRA, okay, for intercorporate investments, uh, they've removed the part on uh, IS39. So now for uh, investments in financial assets, okay, it's all uh, on IFRS 9, okay, with respect to IFRS. Now for corporate finance, they have uh, removed reading 23 and reading 24. Okay, and then they've added in this new reading, okay, uh, focusing on corporate governance, and then they've also added a part on ESG considerations. Now for derivatives, okay, uh, for some of you, you may be very happy. Uh, they've removed reading 41 on derivative strategies, okay, although more, uh, this is not everyone's uh, favorite topic. Okay, so they've moved this uh, derivative strategies uh, to level three. Okay, so if you watch my level three video, uh, you would have, I uh, will mention this, uh, in that in that previous video so the two remaining uh, readings here are on uh, valuation of uh, commitments okay forward commitments and also uh, contingent claims now uh, lastly for portfolio management they have removed reading 46 uh, the portfolio management process they've and then they've added in a reading 43 on exchange traded funds mechanics and applications okay and then they've also removed reading 51 on algorithmic trading and HFT and then uh, they, they've added in a new reading on trading costs and electronic markets.
which is a which is a combination of algorithmic trading and also certain uh, aspects of uh, execution costs okay like uh, effective spreads or vwap and implementation shortfall